believed a king named Brahmacharya. He was a man high principles and he valued hard work and sincerity. His favorite uh, proverb was work is worship. And one day King Ramacharya decided to find out that his subjects uh, followed uh, his ideals or not. And he called his courtiers and he said, Go through the kingdom and find out what jobs people have undertaken. And are they following, uh, performing their duties with sincerely or not? And find the person who knows the secret of the hard work and bring him to me. I want to know who is this person, but nobody should know that you have been sent by me. As you wish, as you wish, your majesty, said Cortes, and they leave. But after they discussed about this task between themselves, and one of the courtiers said, oh my God, what to do? The king said that nobody should know that we have been sent by him and all the people, almost all the people know that we are courtiers of the king, what to do? And that time, another person said, let's disguise as a tribal man. And they dress up as a tribal man, and they boarded the bullock cart and set up on their way. At first day, when they, they were on their way, they met a uh, woodcut man. He was chopping trees with his big axe. And they met him and they stopped there and they asked him the question. They said, uh, do you know the secret of hard work? And but the first question was, do you love your job? At that time, that woodcutter man, he was angry. He flung his big axe aside and he said, not at all. This job actually passed down to me by my answer. So I don't like this job. And they understood his answer and they proceeded their way again. A mile passed, another mile passed, and they met on their way the second person. That person was washerman. They stopped at that place and they asked the question, Oh, washerman, it seems like you are enjoying your job. And the washerman looked at them and he said, You at that time, he got angry and he started with the clothes and he said, you think is this job is enjoyable? I was very stupid when I was a child. I didn't show much uh, interest in studying. I never listened to my parents. Uh, I didn't do, I didn't hard work and that's why I couldn't qualify the good job and now my family dependent on me. That's why I have to do this job, but I don't like this job. It's not my job. And they understood his answer and they proceeded their way again and again. And they were walking miles and miles with the bullock cart uh, in the dress of tribal men and finally, they met on their way the third person. That person was studying, and that person was very young man. They stopped at, at that place, and they asked, what are you doing, young man? And that man said, I'm a teacher. I'm reading this book uh, so that I can teach my students tomorrow and it gave me 
satisfaction um, to share with my knowledge. And the interesting thing, ask another question. Do you know the secret of Carpo of young man? He said, yes. War is worship, he said. No matter what job you do, you must do love this, this job. You must do, do it sincerely. You must do love and love and love your job, no matter what job you do. And they were happy that they got, they find out that person who knows the secret of the hard work and they escorted that young man to the king. When he king heard uh, about this news, he also rewarded that uh, teacher and he built for his students a big school. And the uh, teacher also was happy and this incident uh, gave to a lot of people inspiration from that time people of that kingdom started to value hard work and 